Hey, Gemini. What's up, gang? I hope everybody is well. So we're going to go ahead and do some spiritual messages I felt very drawn to. Um, if that's something that interests you, do stick around. Gemini, if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Jessica. Please take a look at my description box because that's going to have all the information that you would need to know. And yes, this is a Gemini channel. However, if you vibe, you tribe. So go ahead and make yourself comfortable. Gemini, if you're returning, welcome back. I hope that you're well. Hope you're taking care of yourself. I do hope that you're doing what's best for you. Thank you for all the love, all the support. Gemini, thank you for all the good vibes. It really does mean the world, okay? All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into this. So when I was getting into the energy, I heard Star Child, and then I heard a strong spiritual upgrade and transformation. And then I heard you're almost complete or this is almost ready okay that's what i heard so you're going to take it as it resonates some of you guys could have been going through a lot of spiritual upgrades a lot of ascensions and feeling like this is never ending you know i'm getting the energy of somebody who's like on a roller coaster but it's one of those roller coasters that goes around and around <laughs> you know it's not one of the loop-de-loo ones it's one that you kind of get strapped in and it goes around and around um and that can really make you dizzy right so for some of you guys there has been some kind of energy like that maybe you've been feeling dizzy maybe you've been dealing with vertigo or having a lot of like out of body experiences or um you know feeling like you're viewing your own life like you're a witness to your own life almost some of you guys could have like a lot of epiphanies or just sudden like realizations of like this is the life i'm living this is who i am this is what's going on you know there's something about that some of you guys could be dreaming about your childhood a lot or dreaming about your future. It's like you're dreaming about a time that you're not there anymore. So this is either your past or it's your future, okay? Um, but these dreams are giving you a lot of messages. So Spirit is saying that if you are having a lot of dreams, if you are um, just, you know, feeling like you're being given extra messages right now or you're connecting to a lot of visions, um, to pay attention to those messages. Also, Spirit is saying to pay attention to the angel numbers and to possibly even look those up. Um, I have the, a wonderful book that I like to use as a reference. I don't think it is right here next to me, though. But it's, um, yes, it is actually next to me because I'm like, this is my office area. This Everything should be here. Um, it's Angel Numbers by Kyle Gray. I love that book. It's um, such a good reference guide, you know, and it's pretty affordable too on Amazon. So I would look into that, Gemini, but there's something about paying attention to the angel numbers. You could be seeing one, two, three a lot, one, two, three, four. Um, you could be seeing two, three, four a lot, or like five, six, seven. Like you could be seeing like climbing numbers, okay? There could be something like that. I'm also getting the energy of like triple digits. So eight, 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 two, 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 three, 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 you know, one, one, one. But I am feeling that, the climbing energy of numbers for sure. You could even be seeing like two, four, six. They're saying like if you're seeing numbers like that, like two, four, six, okay, um, or three, six, nine, something like that, it's like you're doubling your progress or something is jumping ahead faster than if like you were seeing like one, two, three. I don't know if that's making any sense to anybody, but that's really what I'm getting here, okay? I feel like a way is being opened up for you as well. Like a path is being opened up for you, Gemini. And I feel like spirit wants you to know that. But this path starts within, okay? There's some kind of energy here of like you cannot transform your outside. You cannot transform your environment or what's happening to you externally until you transform what's happening within. Some of you guys are cultivating a deeper connection with spirit. And I was talking about this in a previous reading, but I also talked about it in a personal reading today. And it just it feels like this is what's happening with the Gemini Collective right now there's a energy here of having like a strong amount of faith because spirit has always been there but there's this energy of like can you keep that faith when you know spirit exists but you don't feel like spirit's there at the moment right because spirit is always there but there are times like when we co-create right we we're driving a car with spirit we're the ones in the driver's seat sometimes spirit will take over though you know sometimes spirit can be like our navigation system the one holding the map next to us but what if we didn't have that person holding the map next to us what if it were really truly depending on ourselves there's some kind of strength or awareness or inner fire um because there's only somebody holding a candle that's lit um <clears throat> there's something that you're cultivating you know to within yourself that's giving you a lot of strength it's helping you with your endurance but it's actually connecting you closer to the divine it's helping you feel more connected okay 
So <clears throat> that's what I'm getting. I also got the alligator for the intuitive message, which we haven't gotten in a while. So Gemini, you could be ready to strike or that message of something is almost ready or you're almost complete. That could be translating to this with the crocodile though. There is an inner or the crocodile alligator, whatever you want to look at it as. Okay. Um, there is an energy here of pause. Okay. Uh, there is an energy of like pausing before you, you make an action, pausing before you make a move. Some of you guys could really feel like you're in that hangman energy. Um, you know, you've been hung up. Everything is upside down. You're kind of being put in this energy of needing to reflect, needing to pause here. Okay. And it's interesting too, because I was watching um, <clears throat> another reader earlier. Uh, well, it wasn't earlier. It was like the other day. And she said something that really hit for me. It was like, I was like, wow, I've never really thought of it like that. But she was talking about how our ancestors used to have to slow down in the winter time, you know, because a lot of them lived off the land and with the modern conveniences of technology and heaters and internet and things like that, we don't really have a season where we slow down. Those who are still connected to the land who do farming or maybe you do something with like plants or animals or something like that. Um, yes, you could have a season where it's like an, it's an off season. But we are naturally meant to go through the seasons of life and we are meant to um, kind of like have an off season. And it just got me thinking when she said that, you know, that our ancestors used to have a, to slow down in the winter. They used to have to pause, reflect, take care of themselves, devote time to self-care. That's what, you know, the whole spring and summer was getting ready for is getting ready for the fall and the winter, right? The fall is the harvest and then we have the winter time, which is downtime. So there could be something here, Gemini, where maybe you're being called to reflect you're being called to pause okay frog energy being called to heal what's within to get ready for the new season the new growing season is the energy i'm getting okay especially with that alligator now with the star child i'm sorry i'm channeling a lot guys i'm just getting a lot of messages so feel free to skip until you see cards coming out if that's what you are here for um with the star child energy, I do feel like I'm seeing somebody coming in from the stars, like coming in from the, like the atmosphere to earth and they're on like a lotus with a lily pad. Okay. And they have their legs crossed and they have like their, they're doing like the ohm or something. I don't know. I feel like there's something here where it's like, you did come here. Uh, some of you guys did come here on a star. I don't know who I'm talking to. I'm getting that like for somebody out there. It could be quite literally you are a star child. You are a star being, okay? There is something that, you know, you know, right? Maybe people around you don't know. And maybe there could be this energy of like people around you do find you to be different, Gemini. They do find you to be a little like alien almost, right? Like there's something up with that person. You know, their energy is just very intense, very potent. They're, I've never met anybody like this. They look like they fit in. They look like a human you know but there's something a little different some of you guys could have different features too like you could have protruding bones or something or like elongated limbs um or I, I don't know right I'm getting that energy of some of you guys could look rather like alienish of you know what we've been depicted like what's been depicted to us from like movies and books and stuff like that but I am getting that energy of some of you guys you look a little different you come off different I'm getting like a heavy Aquarius energy <clears throat> like there's a big difference in, within you, Gemini, okay? Some of you guys could be making connections with star beings right now, though. You could have, you know, encounters of a different kind here, a different variety. Um, you could be remembering things in your dream or you could be waking up in like odd positions in your bed or like clothes missing or you could have like missing time or something. Some of you guys could be, um, I'm going to use this because it popped out for the animal because I feel like if I don't we're never going to get a card right uh some of you guys could be like going for drives or something and there's missing time or you're feeling like the day is like where is the the day the hours in the day gone I feel like I just woke up and now all of a sudden it's two o'clock in the afternoon like some of you guys could really feel like that like there's time missing or there's been time missing in some aspect here okay some of you guys could be really be calling, being called excuse me to be your authentic self let your freak flag fly in a sense Okay, be authentic to who you really are, you know, sure, there's a there's a bit of you that looks a, like similar to a horse, but you're not a horse, you're a zebra, right? And you were given your stripes for a reason, you were given your uniqueness, your talents, your abilities for a reason. And sure, there's always gonna be people around you that can't figure you out or 
want to try to paint you as something evil because you're different, right? They're bringing me to like the um, Salem witch trials. So I don't know if that's significant to somebody, but there's this quote that was like, you weren't burning witches, you were, bur you were burning women. You were burning mothers. You were burning daughters. You were burning sisters. You were burning healers in a sense, you know? And that's just how the world is. Like the world's always gonna attack what's different. The world is always gonna try to paint different as bad, different as scary, different as the enemy, right? But you are meant to be unique, Gemini. That's why you were given whatever abilities or whatever differences you have. Some of you, it could be with how you look, you know? Your differences could be very obvious. But for others of you, it could be this energy of like what's within is different, you know? So I don't know, I'm getting that energy, but with the shark, there's like a fear surrounding that, you know, a fear surrounding being seen as different or being seen as odd. And maybe not for everybody. Some people don't give a fuck and, and I'm happy for you, right? Like if you don't, <laughs> you know, but I feel like for some of you guys, you need to hear that it's okay to be who you are. It's okay to, to let your voice be heard. Um, you know, not everybody's going to get it, but that's okay, right? Turtle energy. I feel like you are slowly making your way towards a goal here, but you were also given some kind of um, natural defense system here too, a protectiveness, right? Um, not everybody's able to get past your barrier, Gemini. You are extremely spiritually protected, and I feel like that's a message that spirit wants you to know here. You are extremely protected, there have been many people in your family, your friend groups, strangers, haters, competitors, people who put themselves in competition with you, okay, that have tried to penetrate whatever this barrier is that spirit has set up for you. Try to penetrate this shell because the turtle has a natural shell, right? The turtle's not a very fast creature. It's kind of slow, actually, you know? And if it wasn't for that shell, it would actually, I feel like turtles might be closer to extension than maybe they already are. I'm sure there's varieties that are close to extension, but you know what I'm saying here. I feel like there's um, this energy here of like, you are meant to make some kind of slow progress or you are meant to have vulnerable parts of yourself, but you also have some kind of protective energy that has been cloaking you that is, you know, um, almost without your knowledge. For some of you, you're well aware of it. For others of you, you have an inkling. <laughs> For some of you, you have no idea. Some of you guys might feel like, I haven't been protected. I have no friends. I have nothing going on. I've been stripped of things. Yeah, sometimes protection doesn't always show up in the way that we think it's going to. Just like somehow, sometimes growth doesn't always look like we think it's going to. You know, sometimes healing doesn't always look like what we think it's going to. So your protection that you've been given might not look like what you would think protection looks like. You know? Spirit might say, well, no, I'm not going to bring brimstone and fire and destroy these people's lives, but I'll remove you from their presence. That could be protection, you know? So it's all about how you look at it. It's your perspective. And I kind of see the same thing with the camel here. We haven't really gotten the camel energy, so I'm interested to see what the book is actually going to say. But what I'm getting is perseverance, endurance right off the bat and an inner knowing because camels can navigate the desert. You know, and a lot of um, people use camels for that purpose and because they can persevere in really harsh environments. They can survive and thrive in really harsh environments. And so can you, Gemini. Okay, if you had a spirit animal, maybe it is the camel. If you had a spirit plant, I would say it's a cactus for some of you. Obviously not for everybody, okay? But you, again, the cactus also is something that can thrive in a very harsh environment, is more succulent than you would think, right? It has more liquid and moisture inside of it than you would think. It also has a protective barrier. So I stand by what I said, okay? Um, with this crescent moon here, the crescent moon energy could be very significant for you, Gemini. But I also get this energy here of like you following your intuition. Your intuition is guiding you, Gemini. And that's something that I feel like you need to know as a spiritual message, that your intuition is guiding you. You are being led through this life, through your internal GPS system, through that navigation system that you have built in. You know, you're on the move here and you may be making slow progress or you may be making a steady progress going at your own pace, but you are getting where you need to go. And there's something here about somebody needing to hear that they're not lost, 
you might have been turned around, you might have been on this ship in the storm, or you might have been on a journey and then there was all of a sudden this storm that happened and turned you all around and you had to kind of get through it to get out of it and you just ran in a certain direction, but you were following your instincts, you were following your intuition. Some of you guys could literally be relocating or wanting to relocate, wanting to move to a completely different environment, a completely different place and start your life over and I implore you to do that if that's what you're feeling. I implore you to, to follow your intuition regardless of whether it seems logical or not. Because there's something here where maybe, you know, you do feel like a little bit at an impasse here with this alligator energy. You feel a little lost or unsure of what move to make next. Spirit is saying, you have a navigation system. You're blessed. Some people really are lost. You're not lost. You just think you are. There's a difference. Okay? So there's something here where like you're always going to be guided by the star people, by the light, by your intuition, you know? There's something here, by your destiny, you're always gonna be guided. I'm getting like a very destined energy with this camel, I don't know why, okay? So, you're built for this, basically, Gemini. You built for this life, whether you like it or not. Let's uh, look into the book, because I'm really curious. I should have taken it out already. Okay, so camel energy, we have, I think that's fire. Yes, it is. I don't know where it's at, though, obviously. It's in the back or something. Oh, here we go. Okay. The camel says, resourceful, independent, and knows oneself. The camel can handle absolutely anything as it carries a wealth of nourishment within. This wondrous creature is self-reliant and handles challenges with ease. Even in the face of excess heat, meaning judgment or anger, the camel searches inside for the cool elixir of water to calm the situation. That's crazy because I was talking about that, that judgment. The camel represents the ultimate form of bringing opposites into balance, fire and water, and being responsible for one's own reaction. The camel is a wonderful traveler and especially fond of trips to faraway lands. When in balance, calm, content, and a sparkle in the eye, Okay, uh, when out of balance, dehydrated and lacks vitality to bring into balance a pil pilgrimage. And, and literally, that's what I'm getting. For some of you guys, your, your heart, your soul, your intuition, your essence is telling you it's time to leave or it's time to move or it's time to do something different. It's time to have a pilgrimage. It's time to have a completely new experience here. And there could be something that's going on there with that, okay? I do feel like there's something here about you knowing yourself, okay? Spirit wants you to know yourself. So if some of you feel like maybe Spirit has not backed off, because again, I don't feel like Spirit ever truly leaves us, but Spirit could be like less hands-on on, you know, some of you guys have had spirit be very hands on in your life, be very reliant almost to the, to the point where, excuse me, guys, where you don't even feel like you have to rely on yourself sometimes. Like, I don't need to use my inner navigation system because spirit's going to show me right? I don't need to even worry about saving myself because spirit's going to save me. And I know that's not everybody's experience. I am well aware. Okay. Um, but I feel like I'm talking to a particular group here that has always felt very connected to the divine or to some higher source, whether you want to call it the divine spirit, God, the universe, right? It's all the same energy. It's something that is higher than yourself. Okay. It's that higher self. And some of you guys have always kind of felt really connected to that. If you haven't, on the flip side of that coin, if you haven't felt very connected to that energy, you're going to be feeling that connection a lot deeper. And that could be what this uh, spiritual upgrade or transformation that I was picking up on is bringing you towards, is feeling more connected to the divine, feeling like you do have a navigation system suddenly. Your, your intuition is very clear, you know? And regardless of the judgments or the angers for you being different, right? Because when I think of that, like, healer energy and the persecution that happens to healers. I do think about Jesus. You know, I love Jesus as you guys, most of you, if you've been here a while, you know, I gush over, I love Jesus, right? It's just one of those things. 
I love his story. I connect with his story in a really deep way. And I feel like there's something here to, to take note of when it comes to Jesus, right? Somebody who just was a healer and was just following their divine path, their divine mission, what they feel like was foretold before them. Um, you know, the, the great sacrifice of following a higher calling versus your selfish needs or your human needs or what you would like to have. Because I'm sure Jesus would have seen a different way for himself, right? I mean, if I could put myself in Jesus' shoes, I think that he chose the harder path by following the divine mission because he knew he was going to end up on that cross at the end of the day, right? So he basically was feeding himself to the wolves to be the sacrificial lamb. And some of you guys, that's the energy here. It's like with the judgment and the anger, some of you guys can feel like this is very unwarranted. I haven't done anything. I'm just trying to be myself or I'm just trying to make it in the world or I'm just trying to help people. People who don't understand that they attach that negative energy to that. They're going to come after you with their judgment and their anger. But see, the thing about the camel, the thing about you, Gemini, is that you have a self-reliant energy. You are learning to know yourself, right? And so you're searching inside for that. It says cool elixir of water to calm the situation. You know that you can't control emotions, not, not nobody else's emotions, and not even your own, really. If you're angry, you're angry. If you're sad, you're sad. If you're happy, you're happy. You can't necessarily control it, but you can control your reaction to things. You can control how you react to certain situations, right? So just because you're mad at somebody or angry at somebody doesn't mean you can't still talk to them in a loving, elevated energy, right? And just because somebody's judging you or throwing stones your way doesn't mean that you have to throw stones back. I, I find that people who are obsessed with revenge are those who really don't truly believe that the divine does have their back. Because if you believe that the divine has your back and the divine is fighting your battles for you, you don't really need to. Now, I'm not saying to be a doormat and be pushed around, but there's like a bloodlust or there's a revenge lust that people can get caught into the trap of. Oh, I'm going to show this person, you know, I'm going to drag this person. And it's like, if you really have divine support, you don't need to. Their life's going to drag them, hun. Their face, when they look in the fucking mirror, is going to drag them. Sorry, had to go there. But I'm just saying, okay? Like, people create their own path. People create their own existence, and they also create their own traps. So you don't need to worry about setting up a trap for somebody else, Gemini. That trap has already been set for them. The moment that they tried to come against somebody who had pure intentions or a pure heart or was meant to be a light in this world. Okay, so that's all I'm going to say about that. Everybody is responsible for their own actions here is what this camel card says. Now, with the camel being a wonderful traveler, some of you guys do travel and you travel through distant um, space and time and different dimensions. And some of you guys are into meditation and you're into astral projection or this is something that might be happening soon. Okay, some of you guys might meet a doppelganger too. I don't know why I'm getting that energy, but I just saw the word doppelganger. Um, you could run into yourself. That sounds so weird, but I'm getting the energy of that. Like you could run into yourself, maybe in the store, or, um, maybe on a subway, at a subway, a restaurant subway. I don't know. There's something about a subway for somebody. Okay. That's creepy. I'm sorry. That's creepy to me. Could you imagine being at the subway? You just got off the third shift. It's late. It's late. Oh, late 30 or whatever. Okay. <laughs> and all of a sudden you see somebody in the empty subway cart down there and they look just like you and they look at you and they, they, they put their hand up like this and then you, you know, you, you're mimicking them because you're like, what the fuck? That would be weird to me. But some of you guys, they're giving me that energy and maybe not that exact situation, but maybe they're just trying to give me the feeling that you're going to have. It's going to be eerie. You know, it's going to be very eerie feeling to run into yourself. Okay. But there is some kind of energy of that, of like a doppelganger. Um, this could also be twin energy. Some of you guys could have some kind of partner or counterpart or something. I don't really know how I feel about twins, but Hey, you know what I mean? There could be somebody who really matches your energy out there, whether this is a friend, lover, whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm getting like a doppelganger for somebody. Okay. Like traveling somewhere and meeting this person or seeing this person or in passing meeting this person okay i don't know we've talked a lot so let's go ahead and get some cards out here right we're already 23 freaking minutes in holy moly okay um but it's okay right because channel messages are just as valuable and viable as 
cards. I don't really need the cards to talk to you guys or to tell you what I'm feeling. The cards just kind of confirm to me and put, um, you know, my words into pictures so you guys can kind of feel. I feel like the cards, the cards, the cards are like collateral or a safety net in a sense to let you know that like I'm not full of shit. I, that's just what I'm getting with the cards, okay? Because sometimes I don't really need them. All right, let's. Uh, do, 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 I think I'm turning Japanese. I think I'm turning Japanese. I really think so. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> maybe that's a, a, something for somebody. Okay, maybe that is something for somebody here. They're turning Japanese, or maybe you were Japanese, or you are Japanese, or something. Okay. All right, let's see. What do we have here for Gemini? Spiritual messages, please. Spiritual messages for Gemini gang. We have Paul, the Venetian. It says, experiencing grace. Share your gifts with grace. Waves of inspiration and love are coming to you. So you're really connecting to yourself right now, Gemini, and you're really connecting to other people. You're connecting to the planet. Um, there is something here where your healing vibration is really needed on this planet more than ever. There's a lot of hate. There's a lot of anger. There's a lot of fear. There's a lot of sadness. You know, there's a lot of worry and stress and it's like if you can be a light in the world, that is so valuable. And, it, and I say it all the time. It doesn't mean that you're up here doing what I'm doing, being some kind of spiritual whatever. Like that's not what it's about. It could be you just going to the grocery store and smiling and being nice to people, letting people go ahead of you in line if they have less groceries or something, complimenting somebody's hair or their outfit or, you know, telling a joke to the cashier, maybe making her, her or him smile for the first time in their entire shift you know it's like be that light that you're meant to be Gemini because you are meant to be a light some of you guys you know the, the world is it's really good at hardening people it's really good at turning people into pessimistic energy where it's like well I'm gonna give people exactly what I was given which is nothing right but then I'm not really talking to you because that's not the energy of a healer the energy of a true healer is somebody that doesn't want people to experience the pain that they've experienced they're not out here with a vendetta trying to make the world burn because the world hurt them everybody gets hurt in the world like the buddhists say life is suffering that's the first rule that's the first thought that's the first essential knowing that you can and will have is life is suffering it was never meant to be easy you know True strength is how you can deal with that suffering. True strength is how you can deal with the times that life does kick you in the gut because it's going to. <laughs> Rest assured, right? Um, and it's like, I don't know, there's some kind of energy here of you experiencing grace and giving grace to others, okay? Being graceful. Um, I don't know why I'm getting like Shaolin type of energy too. So I don't know, there could be something with Asia or something that's significant to somebody guys, or maybe you're looking into different religions or you're learning, you're looking into like different concepts and um, different idealisms and I ideologies or whatever. Like you're looking into something different because maybe your belief system is shifting. And I personally feel like your belief system should shift throughout time. It should evolve with you. You're a spiritual being having a spiritual experience and you're experiencing a lot of different things you're like a snake that's shedding different layers and different skins you're still the same snake but you might have different skins right so you you know your I feel like your spiritual eyes should grow with you but take it as it resonates okay but yeah spirit is saying that you know now is a time to share your gifts and now is a time to share your gifts with grace it's not a, it's not a time to be um an aggressor or to force um, anything on anybody, you know, there's almost this energy of giving from a compassionate space, giving from just a grateful space, you know, a space of gratitude here is the energy I'm getting. Look, Jesus showing up. He's like, you ring, uh, just cause I mentioned him. Anyways, forgiveness. It says you are on the path of love, light, and forgiveness. Father healing is possible at this time. Some of you guys really do need to forgive your father or you need to forgive masculine energy, period. You know, maybe it's not about a father. Maybe it's about exes or maybe it's about a brother or an uncle or something. Or maybe you need to forgive yourself if you're in masculine energy or you are a masculine, okay? But there's energy here of forgiving, okay, that's coming through, which we've talked about forgiving a lot lately, so I'm not going to get too deep into that. Lord Shiva, it says transcendence, rise up and honor your inner force. Steps are being given. Dance with the universe, right? And I feel that energy very strongly, actually, with the camel, you know, to dance with the universe, to listen to your internal navigation. Where, where is your GPS leading you, Gemini? Where are you being told to go right now? 
Oh Lord, I feel like I'm, I'm put, being put on the spot right now. I feel like I'm getting like a spiritual pop quiz right now because I told myself, damn it now, I'm gonna learn what this word was because y'all had told me this <laughs> in the comments and it's, it's like my, my Melchizedek. Okay, I think it was or something like that. Okay, higher learning. Yeah, I need some of that. <laughs> I need some of that. Anyways, guys, it says you have learned from experience. More inner study is now required to further the progress. We got that card the other day, obviously. So that's still a very valid theme here in your life or in your situation on your path. You are learning. You're a work in progress, okay? So maybe you are being called up to a higher learning. Some of you guys might be uh, being called to, again, study different religions, study different forms of spirituality. There could be something about that. Maybe you're being called to study whatever your ancestors studied or to start taking something. I don't want to say more seriously because I'm not trying to patronize anybody or offend anybody, but that's the message that I'm getting. Somebody maybe needs to take something a little bit more seriously. Um, like well, I'll use myself as the, the target because you know, I'm, I have no problems doing that uh, to be honest with you. I have absolutely no problems being transparent. Maybe I do need to take this a little bit more seriously and learn these damn names that I can't pronounce. Cause it's like, maybe some people can't take me seriously because it's like, she can't even pronounce the names out on the card. But in my defense, I read off of energy. I don't really need the card. So that's just an extra. But anyway, that's not the point. Point is, is that you are learning more inner study is required now to further your progress. So you are making some kind of progress in your spiritual journey. And it's like I was telling somebody in a personal reading earlier, who's actually going through this spiritual initiation and the crisis, the healing crisis, um, the illness crisis of a, a, a shaman because that's something that will happen as a lot of you probably know when you're initiated into the higher path of a healer because whether you want to call it a shaman a medicine woman a medicine man a priestess a priest a healer a light worker it's all the same energy it's a healer right um when you're initiated on that path you know you might think, okay, well, I've made it through this, so now I'm done. You're never done learning, that's the thing, right? If you're done learning, you would possibly on, be on the other side, you know? So if you're here, if you're incarnated as an earthling, as a human on this planet, listening to this message right now, you are not done. You're not done learning. You're still progressing. You're still furthering some kind of spiritual knowledge here, okay? So some of you guys, yeah, there's a need to, uh, what are they saying? Oh, Lord, they're saying... Take a look. It's in a book. <laughs> Reading Rainbow. Yeah, they really want somebody to read out here or something like that. Like, take a look. It's in a book. Okay? There's something that you need to look into when it comes to uh, that. Okay? <laughs> Anyways, guys. Okay, and then we have Lady Venus. Downloads and understanding. The truth is being revealed. Deep insights are coming from the astral from heaven and the astral realm and that is that energy of those downloads coming through that i was picking up guys so right now you're getting a lot of downloads and if you are like a tarot reader or you do divination or you give messages or anything like that or seer or whatever you want to call yourself you give messages to a collective let's just say that if you do something like that gemini um, some of the downloads you're getting are not necessarily for your collective, but it's okay to say things to your collective, but some of them are meant for you. So if you're reading or you're giving a message and you're like, damn, this kind of resonates for me. Yeah, spirit wants you to be a part of the word too, right? You need to get the messages too. Because if you're anything like me, people have a really hard time reading your energy. People think they're reading your energy. I've had so many, and it's nothing against tarot readers, but I've had a lot of readers, you know, I've gotten some readings done and they just don't resonate at all. And I'm just like, I don't understand what it is. Why <laughs> my, my energy, like some people can't read me. I don't get it, you know? Um, but anyways, if you're anything like that, okay, where it's hard for people to pick up on your energy or you don't get a lot of readings done, you don't pull a lot of cards for yourself. Um, yeah, you need to get messages too sometimes. And so there's something about that where you're getting a lot of downloads and spirit wants you to take that time to transmute that energy, integrate it through your system and get the understanding that's needed from that message. Because some of you guys, you are getting a lot of information that's coming through you. Some of it's meant for the collective, some of it's meant for you to keep, and some of it's both ways, okay? Meant for the collective and meant for you, okay? So there's something here going on with that, but a truth is being revealed and, and it could be about this travel or it could be about your uniqueness, your difference, your gifts, who you are, you know, um, being maybe initiated onto the healing journey and onto the spiritual path and being like, I didn't ask for this. 
you know? But it's like, you have a soul contract, whether you can remember it or not. But the thing is, is that you're being called, right? Some of you guys are being called and that's the thing. Okay. We're just going to get some more, um, Oracle out here and then we're going to be done because I don't really want to get into tarot. I've already spent enough time and I have other things to do today. Okay. We making tacos tonight. It's taco Thursday. <laughs> I know it's supposed to be Taco Tuesday, but we're not basic around here. We purposely have like spaghetti and stuff on Tuesdays. Okay. <sighs> Shout out to all the moms and the dads that, you know, work all day and then still got to plan a fucking menu and make it exciting <laughs> and palatable for people. Like y'all really are the real MVPs. Okay. All right. What do we have here? Spiritual messages for Gemini gang. Spiritual messages, please. Spiritual messages. They're saying sweat it out. Okay. I don't know. There could be something about that. We have the angel of vision. Someone is not revealing part of the story. Trust your feelings over what others can say. So the spiritual message here with this is that you have a bullshit detector. You have a built-in lie detector. Not only do you have a built-in GPS, a built-in protective system, a built-in, like, you know what I mean? Alarm system. You have a built-in bullshit detector and you can trust that. Some of you um, have been being gaslit by somebody. I don't know who this is, but there's this energy around you where somebody would like to make you feel crazy. That, that happens with readers, I've noticed. Like, it happens with me. It's definitely happened where um, people maybe have met me through the Moody Tarot and then they're like, talk about how 100% accurate my messages are. But then when I, when something happens and I like question them about it and they're like, oh, no, maybe that's, I don't know if you're, you know, it's like, I'm not accurate for you one-on-one, -on -one, but I'm accurate when I'm doing a collective message. Like, you know, that spiritual gaslighting or something, there could be something like that that's going on here where somebody's trying to like spiritually gaslight you and make you believe that you're cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs or, you know, you're not really hitting on me. You're not really picking up on my energy or, um, you know, your intuition's wrong or, or something like that, guys. I don't know. That's for somebody out here, okay? That's not for everybody, obviously. But regardless, Spirit is saying that you do have a built-in bullshit detection or lie detector or alarm system and that could be part of that protective energy I was picking up you know you can tell when somebody's up to no good or somebody's got false intentions or something so you can really stop yourself from even getting in situations to begin with as long as you're not spiritually gaslighting yourself right as long as you're not sitting there telling yourself well I'm my, maybe I'm just paranoid you know maybe I'm wrong girl are you girl slash boy are you ever wrong <laughs> to ask you that like seriously like anytime your intuition has really come through and told you something even if you don't get that confirmation right off the bat like you might get it a little bit down the road but have you ever really been wrong so why would you be wrong this time sometimes we gaslight ourselves because we don't want to believe it or we don't want to look a certain way you know but there could be something your intuition is telling you about somebody and spirit wants to come through in this message to let you know that's one of your gifts being able to suss out the simps or being able to gut, suss out the people who, um, and when I say simp, I don't mean simp like somebody who's simping for you. Because I can't stand that term. I need to go back and I need to correct that, okay? Um, I mean like the simple tens, right? The stupid people, okay? That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about like simps as in somebody showing emotion and affection. I actually think that's very sexy when somebody goes out of their way to show you that they really like you. We need more of that in this world. Anyways, um, yeah, I do feel like that's what's happening here. Someone's not revealing part of the story to you or someone's spiritually gaslighting you, but it's causing you to spiritually gaslight yourself. You can believe whatever intuition is, you know, whatever your intuition is telling to you, whatever spirit's told you, because I get this energy of spirit has directly told somebody here, this person is this. And you need to listen, okay? But I feel like overall for the spiritual message, that's what this is, is that you have, this is part of your protective system. This is part of like what's built in is for you to be able to read the filth out of people, be able to read people like the fucking terms and conditions, okay? Um, so that's a gift, okay? And it's, a, and it's definitely a protective energy for you to use. What else do we have here, okay? Spiritual messages. We're gonna have this and that's gonna be it. And that's so funny too, because I had put the animal deck over here on my shelf 
and it was upside down and I didn't even realize that the vulture was there. So yeah, you could have somebody lurking from a distance just because of how that vulture was like over here. And I think vultures get a bad reputation as do a lot of animals, but in this deck it can be like a energy vampire. It can be somebody who's like really angry that you've accepted your gift or you've accepted your light or you're exalted or something like that. And so, you know what I mean? It, it, I don't know. Anyways, that's all the airtime I'm going to give them <laughs> in this reading, right? Just know that you can suss out the bullshit, okay? Moving forward. Energy or angel of finances here. It says honor and give thanks for the blessings that you are about to receive And then we have the god of the arts an artist within you is about to emerge So yeah, when it you know part of your spiritual transformation and your spiritual gifts and you know Abilities and everything is this artistic energy that you have and some of you guys are meant to make money off of whatever Talent skill or whatever that spirit has given to you healing energy Okay a gift a skill a trade, a trademark is what I'm getting to. There's something that, again, spirit has given within you, okay? So whether it is the ability to read people or whether it is the ability to heal people or whether it is like, you know, doing some kind of art or writing or singing or dancing or performing or creating something, right? Whatever it is, this is an ability that you are meant to use to bring blessings into your life and bring finances into your life. So don't let any people like gas spiritually gaslight you into believing that you should be broke. And you know what I mean? To, to give a message or to give a word. Like you don't owe anybody on this planet anything. So somebody who thinks that they should have your energy, they're entitled to your energy. You shouldn't charge for your services because I'm entitled to that healing energy. No, you're not. I'm choosing to give it to you. And life is about energy exchange. It's about the balance. What are you going to give me for what I'm giving you? Right? You want spiritual energy and healing for free? Talk to the big man slash woman slash whatever upstairs because they'll give you for the freebie all day long. Okay? Spirit will give you that uh, healing energy for the free nine to nine all day long. But I am not spirit. I am a, a humble human that needs to pay my bills and put food on the table for my kids and put a rat in my ca the cage for my snake, okay? So we all got bills to pay, <laughs> all right? So that's the kind of energy I'm getting here. Don't let anybody make you feel bad about turning your spiritual gifts into some kind of trade or making financial gain off of that. As long as that's not your driving force, which I feel like for the majority of you, it's not. This is really good energy. As long as that's not what all you're doing is talking about finances, finances, finance, like 24 seven when it comes to like, you know, this is my service, this is my shop, this is my candle, this is my do 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 do. And you spend like 10 minutes out of your reading talking about that or whatever. As long as you're not here scamming people, okay, then okay. That's, somebody need to hear that. Cause I feel like that's a thing that happens. Like, you know, it's like spiritual shaming. Like, well, you should be doing this out of the good of your heart. Well, your plumber don't come and fix their, your toilet out of the good of their heart, hun. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you had a problem. Your toilet was clogged. You needed it fixed. They came and fixed it. You got a spiritual problem. You need me to look at. Well, okay. You know what I mean? So there's something going on with that for somebody. Anyways, I feel like you are about to be given some kind of financial blessing. And also part of your spiritual message is that you are meant to be financially secure. You are meant to be blessed. You know, some of you guys have went through bouts of being broke or being homeless, or maybe you're even going through that right now. You know, you've, you've experienced in all the aspects of finances of being a human, not just the ups, but the downs too. But there is some kind of um, spiritual wealth that is meant to happen for you, Gemini. Like you are meant to be abundant. You are meant to be secure. So don't let anybody gaslight you and make you feel like you're not. And don't gaslight yourself. You don't owe anybody a damn thing. Okay? Anyways, but kindness and respect. And maybe not even respect. But kindness. You can kindly tell somebody to fuck off. Anyways, this message is going left. I'm going to get out of here. I do hope it helps. I hope it resonates. I hope it does something. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.